Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. I've been doing busy actually, doing a few things. Let's have a look what we've actually been doing. Let's start with some basics, I think. Over here I've got some cobbled... Uh, this was actually a, a, from a video from Whisperfire. She was compressing cobblestone and I tried it and I couldn't get it to work. Now I'm managing to get it to work. It's quite slow, even with a a tier 5 cobblestone generator. I'm not sure what's slow here, it's probably the um, compression drawers. But what the problem was, this was when you were compressing cobblestone, it was becoming X compression compressed cobblestone and not extra utilities. And they're different. So you can't recompress the compressed cobblestone from extra utilities. Now, there's a configuration file, xcompression. CFG and you need to change that to false or the compressed cobblestone setting to false and then it should work again and also from water as well from um, sort of GW series and said from cactus to water you have to change the so the, the water crucible .json file and then change it from false to true so it should work again I'm not sure which setting because I don't really care because I got plenty of water these days I got Underneath there's a tank and this is a, an infinite supply, an infinite water source, so I don't really need to worry about water from cactus anymore. Let's just quickly trundle over to the factory. I lost... I know I show you something else. I was always running out of meshes and I was trying to figure out a good way to do this. So what I found is, well, if I put um, a basic drawer here and actually put into that some stacks of iron ingots, and then I wanted to compress it at the back. So I'm using these mechanical crafter from Extra Utilities too. And they're actually quite nice. If you look at the top, you see a sort of ghost image of what they're actually crafting. And all you have to do, let's have a look at this. They don't seem to use power, it's to set it up like this. So it, it bring, takes fingers out of here and then it take, creates these iron bars and the iron bars will then get into here as and then crafted as iron mesh and that mesh then goes into that and all I'm using to do that let's have a quick look I need my tool you always need your tool and the right one in this particular case here I'm using these mechanical crafters here um sorry the extra utilities thin and you only need the thin transfer plate nodes and here I think I've got this one if I open and right click this hopefully I don't break it I don't have a filter in this one but between these two I have got one. And so here's a transferred node. So I'm basically just restricting this to iron bars. Because without that restriction, it was coming into here as um, iron ingots were also coming into here. And here's a second one. And I don't need to filter that out because the only thing that can come out of here, of course, is uh, iron mesh. So, in fact, iron bars may be able to, but it can't go anywhere because it doesn't have a space. So I thought that was quite a good solution you see they're basically going pushing out of there going across and coming back into here so I've always got fill uh, well I've always got while well, I've got ingots of iron in there and bars and we've always got meshes so that's pretty good I'm happy with that and I think that's basically all I've done in here recently the power seems to be running fine I'm not seeing any problems with that so this one's in fact it's full in fact, I think they're all, this one's empty, so it's not quite, so it's it's using all the power it's getting. In fact, I probably could add another. Now it's full, maybe I can even add another, um, so is that going up and down, it's going up. Maybe I could add another um, sterling generator, but it didn't, it might not work. It might sort of take away too much. So anyway, that was that, in fact, yes. Actually, I'm going to know I'm going this way. Let's fly over the roof. Every once in a while, these guns are firing because there's mob spawning in my base. And I still don't know why. I've got to find out what's causing it because these things should prevent mob spawning in a 32 block radius. But they're not. I've got a soul vial just in case. I want to catch one and put it, put it into this aversion ob obelisk here. But I haven't bothered yet, so that's that one. At the moment, actually, I actually want to show you something else. In my hand here, I have got the wireless crafting terminal, as you can see. And when I made that, if you look at the quest, let's go and have a look at the quest first of all. 
I don't need to come inside for that. And it was technical revolution. I think I've completed all of these now. So I've got this wiring crafting terminal here. And the rewards from that was two loot chests. And you, of course you get some dense energy cables and whatever else. And I'm going to show you what I got in that loot chest. I'm just basically going to pause it, show an image of what I got and come back. Isn't that amazing? So all of that stuff that I got is downstairs. I've quick look downstairs in this chest here. So that's basically what I've got some molecular assemblers, lots of dense cables and crafting storage. Pretty good, huh? So they're not always rubbish. I do have a little problem. I created a pattern terminal here. When I put this pattern ter terminal on, let's go and put it on, say, upstairs. It's easier to see. It breaks everything, and I'm not sure why. If I put it, say, here like that, you'll see as soon as I do that, all the um, all the disc lights go off. Don't ask me why. I don't know that. I'm surprised. I don't think it's it's not an energy shortage, or maybe the energy acceptor is not enough for this as well. So let's take that away again. I'll put that back again. Oh, I've turned off my. Uh, let me just turn it on again. I've turned off my magnet. So at the moment, if you look at the back of my neck here, I've got the magnet attached to my net, neck, and I've also programmed the F F8 key to turn that on again. So let's go back and then press it back. That's actually off. And the reason I turn it on and off is because of um, certain metals. So if I want to make a plate, for instance, let's make a tin plate like this. That two. And here I've got the press from the immersive engineering press. And if I put stuff down with it with the thing on, let's turn it on first of all. I'm pretty certain that should be on. If I go here and throw these out like that, they go out and they come back again into my oops. Oh no. I must have got it off. Let's have a look before it's <laughs> it is deactivated, yes. So that's why. And all I have to do is throw them onto that vertical just throw them out here in the vertical um conveyor belt picks them up and pushes them down there and then they end up oops no, I didn't want to do that actually this tool's actually quite dangerous in fact I really so so and I've got some tin plates I shall try to remember where those are for when I actually need a tin plate it's quite nice isn't it but what I'm going to do today I hope I've got enough by now I'm making some steel I haven't made enough steel I've got enough now that's great what I'm doing is I'm making some heavy engineering blocks from immersive engineering. So let's just make another one of those. I think I've got the bits I want in here. Yes, these things. So let's have a look through the recipe for the heavy engineering blocks is this one. Let's have a look. Get it up again. It's this one here. So let's see if I can make... Actually, I, want, I need to make four. Like that. Okay, and what I'm trying to do with these, if I look at the usage of those, is I actually want to make these reinforced obsidians. So I need some aluminium sheet and some iron sheet metal, and that's fairly straightforward. That's why I was making these plates. Some aluminium, and the iron one is exactly the same pattern with iron. With iron. So in here I've got those prepared already. So let's get those out and do that again. Oh, no, not that one. I want this one. Don't I? Has it gone to? No, I want the usage of that one. So this one. And that makes reinforced obsidian, which is with the proof. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to shift that into the alloy smelter. Like that. And then I get this brick. Now I've got four of these bricks. They're actually quite expensive. And I need some sticks. I've got any sticks on me to have. What I'm going to make is this thing. this one and if you look at this tack damage 17 I think that's quite impressive I wonder if we can enchant this let's go and see if we can enchant it if it's an enchantable item or not indeed it is what would we get XP boost 3 efficiency 3 boost efficiency is that being treated as a as an axe or as a weapon I'll tell you what we'll do we'll try and get a book and see if we can apply 
something on it that applies to let's have a look in fact it should be able to tell me shouldn't if i look at the uses of it so i can do such mending and braking auto smelt xp boost efficiency for june so it's really a, more like a pickaxe rather than a well xp boost no, maybe not what i was hoping for was uh, sharpness and speed but I think also you can make from this particular which is tiny progressions you can make a sword as well but I don't think it's as effective um, let's try it like this you can make an obsidian sword but the attack damage is only 10 so I reckon this is better so if I put mending on it I don't think I'll put silk touch and maybe XP boost maybe that's quite good magnetic I'm gonna add that one in I'm not sure that's particularly useful for what I want it for let's go and see how effective that is against mobs is it night time yet so before I go and do any mob grinding let's go and eat because we don't want to risk that so there's no mobs around at the moment we'll have to wait a little bit so while we're waiting for that there are some other things i did like i put some of these um um what are they called super crafting frames on the side of this so if i want say a stack of this i just shift right click it and give me a stack of that turn on my thing again f8 my magnet and it gives you a stack so you can actually use the contents of this which i think was actually quite nice i quite enjoyed doing that the reason i'm doing that is this over here is not working very well in fact I don't think it's working at all at all for these because I haven't got from the farm I haven't got any um, sugar cane in here there was no sugar cane when it goes in it disappears and I don't know where it goes to I think I think I think um, progressive automation planters are a bit bugged at the moment but I think it's also winter time because this is on and the crops are still alive and I think potatoes are also having a problem I would expect to see potatoes in there don't ask me why I'm not seeing I don't know where they're going to it can't be going very far and it did certainly work before so I don't know what's going on a bit of a nuisance really so what I'm going to do next other than try to go down to the deep dark which I've never ever been to by the way I'm going to have to wait quite a long time before these are finished processing is let's have a quick look go back inside is this let's have a look I've got the power monitor here and have a look at this I hope I can reproduce this it says I've got 15 water mills so they should actually give me 240 so I've missed a block so let's go and find out where that block is and fix it in fact, I'll move the back rattle axe out of the way and do it that way. So we come underneath there. And it looks like it's over here, doesn't it? Just one missing here. So that says it got 15 instead of 16. So if I put a water source block just here, that's now generating 16 and hasn't affected the others. But this is where I'm not sure. Let's just look at this. So now I've got the 240 GP. And what will happen is if I stop the game and come back again, I think it doubles it up. Let's just try that for a second. So we'll look. See, now it's got 30 water mills. All I did was to exit and start again. So, very strange bug. And the only way you can set, stop that is by exiting completely and starting again. So. If you see some strange GP readings, you'll know why. And hopefully, now it's about night time. So look, I've got a clock with me. Yes, it's night time. Let's go and test this battle axe out, shall we? I've got enough food. I think I've got my armor. Let's double check. Yes, I've got my good armor on. Where shall we go? Well, there's somebody around here. Yep, yeah. husk. Let's go and see if that. How many hits I have to do to get this guy? Oh, two. 
No, another one. So it's not quite enough for a one-hit weapon. But it'll do for now. It's certainly better than the end dryer sword that I've got. And I'm going to put mending on that. I don't think I need anything else, just mending. So, have I covered every, everything I wanted to do today? Yes, I think I have. It's a bit of a shorter episode than normal. But it's coming up to, well, it's actually Easter Sunday now. And next week, I'm going to the UK for a week. i going to see the family. And until then, I'm going to say bye-bye and wish everybody a very happy Easter. I just want this one, don't I? I don't want F3. I want a wave. But he puts an F3 up. Mess that up. <laughs> Bye for now.